Man, what the fuck is going on, everybody? You know who it is. It's LMR Deshay, and I am Iowa's finest, flyest motherfucker coming out of the state. God damn it. Let me get a hallelujah if you hear me. All right? So in this video, we keeping this shit short, quick, and precise like my stroke game. No cap. All right? I'm just sitting here drinking some cheap wine from Aldi. Like I said, there ain't no shame in my game. I'm balling on a budget. All right? I'm a little classy, but I'm also on a budget. So it's like, you can come over to my crib and drink wine, but we drinking wine from Aldi. All right? We not drinking it from the goddamn wineries. Nah, fuck all that. I ain't there yet, y'all. I ain't there yet. One thing about me, y'all, is I can't drink hard liquor. I know there's liquor in wine, or there's alcohol in wine, but like hard liquor, I can't drink it. Hennessy, tequila, no. Vodka, oh no. No, I'm drunk off one cup. I don't care if it's a goddamn Long Island iced tea, if it's goddamn Coke and rum, if it's goddamn gin and juice. All right, I'm getting loose, whatever it is I'm drinking, because I get drunk quick. I'm not joking with y'all. I don't know why that is. I just got a really low tolerance for, like, hard liquor, and that's just kind of why I stay away from it. Wine, I like it because you can sip it, all right? What I've learned about wine is the sweet shit, you'll drink that shit like juice. So if you're trying to pace yourself, get something kind of dry or dry all the way, so you got to sip it, all right? Because you ain't, you ain't chugging down no dry wine because that shit dry as a motherfucker, all right? It's dry like Betty White pussy. That's how dry wine tastes, all right? The sweet wine, just figure out what you like. Me, I'll drink whatever. I like sweet wines, but I drink the sweet wine too quick. So I like dry wines because I sip it. And when I sip it, I, oh God. When I sip it, look, I'm damn near drunk on this one glass of fucking wine. When I sip it, I put my pinky in here like that because it makes me feel classy. You see, I'm classy, never ashy. You feel, one second, excuse me. Mmm. Anyways, this weekend, y'all, this past weekend, I finally went the fuck out. I got out of the fucking apartment because these roaches were pissing me the fuck off, and, and the police is all, always out here. So I just felt like, you know what, tonight we not sitting around, no roaches and no police, so let's go out and do something. All right. Y'all want a story time? You want me to get straight to the point? All right, I'm going to give you a short story time. Quick, I had to get an O2 sensor changed in my car. Right, I'm on YouTube. YouTube make all this shit look easy. They be bullshitting you, all right? Because I was going to change the O2 sensor out of my car, but I ain't got no tools. I ain't got no, I ain't got one. I don't even got a fucking hammer, y'all. I got a pair of scissors. You can't change shit on no car with a pair of fucking scissors, right? So I get on YouTube. I'm like, oh, I can do that shit. That shit easy. So I, I go to AutoZone, and they say, they gave me the price for the O2 sensor, and they said they got a kit you can rent to change it out. Okay, I'm like, oh, fuck, bet. So I go to, I go last week, I go to fucking AutoZone. I get the piece for my car, the O2 sensor. And then I get the rental kit, but at the AutoZone I went to, which is 20 minutes that way, they said they don't have it. So you got to go to the other AutoZone, which is another 20 minutes that way, to get the rental kit. Cool. So I drive to that one. That one over there was like... It wasn't nothing but black folks in there. I loved it, but as soon as I walked in there, I smelled goddamn Black and Milds and Remy. All right. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that's that wine. That should be going through me, y'all. No cap. Anyways, I get to the other, the other auto zone. I get the rental piece. Take it home. I'm trying to change an O2 sensor in my goddamn parking lot, and I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing, y'all. Huh? What they don't say on this YouTube video is you can change it out, but you got to have tools. I'm trying to do this shit with my hands, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to do this shit with my fucking hands. I'm trying to change the O2 sensor with my hands, goddammit. So I'm like, this shit ain't working. I, I got to get some tools. So I go back to AutoZone. I'm like, do y'all have any tools I can rent? <laughs> you Y'all can tell I don't do this shit a lot, y'all. Hey, I'm sorry. My bitch-ass daddy forgot to teach me how to do this shit before he left when I was three. So, no, I'm figuring out this shit on my own, all right? Judge me if you want. Fuck you. I don't care. So, go to AutoZone. He's like, nah, we don't got the tools to rent, but you can buy them. I'm like, I don't even, what, what, what do I need to buy to fucking change this shit out? First, I need a fucking ratchet and an extension piece for it. 
But I'm like, all right, how much is that going to be? He's like, all right, well, the extension pieces are here, 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 and you can buy a set here. I'm like, bro, to change this motherfucker, I'm like, all right, so can I buy this shit? This is what I asked him. I said, can I buy it, use it, and then just return it? He's like, no, the warranty. So I'm like, fuck. So I'm outside of AutoZone trying to change this shit out, and it's 100 fucking degrees down here, and I got on jeans and a black T-shirt. I'm sweating like a goddamn fucking slave on the I ain't gonna go that far, y'all. Just know I'm sweating, all right? I'm pissed because I can't change this shit. Because YouTube made this shit look easy, but they didn't tell me that you need a goddamn 12-inch extension piece on your ratchet to change this shit out. So I bought one, but it was six inches. Huh? Yeah, it was six inches. So I said, fuck this shit. I returned the rental piece and called the fucking mechanic. God bless the mechanics, because... I'm still learning, y'all. Like I said, I don't know how to do all this shit. So fuck it. That was my story. And then after that, I, I went straight home. I had wine at the crib. I'm like, fuck that. I ain't going out. Nah, fuck it. I was like, I went home, took me a cold shower, washed my ass, and I said, nigga, we going out tonight. Fuck it. So I went out, y'all. I went over to the Bishop Arts District. I fuck with it over there. It's nice as hell. It's, it's way different than where I'm from because over there... Motherfuckers can dress. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see females in, like, little sexy-ass cute dresses and shit like that with heels on, speaking Espanol. Excuse me, mamacita. Lo siento. Mi nombre es El Amar. I don't even speak no Spanish, but shit. I'm about to start learning, goddammit. I swear to God. The females everywhere over there. But I went on a Friday night, y'all, and I thought it was cracking. But out of all the people I talked to over there, they said Friday nights are kind of, it was a little slow that night. So they said you got to come back on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, this is another thing I learned being down here. Brunch, Saturday, brunch is a real thing. Like drinking mimosas and getting drunk on a Saturday morning, that's a real thing down here. I ain't never heard no shit like that. Where I'm from, people party Friday night and they hung over on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't drink. So... I'm going to have to find somewhere that serves wine and orange juice on goddamn Saturday mornings because I ain't drinking no whatever else they serving because I'll be drunk, all right? Anyways, y'all, that's really just a highlight of my last couple days. Um, had some dope-ass conversations. This is another thing down here. Y'all, you got to have a style down here. You got to dress. Me, I've been wearing the same shit, and it start. I'm going to tell y'all how I know I got to stop. So I came down here with two pairs of shoes, y'all. Literally, two pairs of shoes, a pair of boots, and a pair of blue fucking running shoes that I've had for months. All right, I told y'all, life back in Iowa, was, I was, it wasn't going my way. All right, so I came down here with nothing. All right, I came down here with two big hairy nuts in my drawers, and that was it. All right, but down here, you got to dress. So I've been slowly taking the time to invest in some clothes, because down here, these hoes are choosing. And if you dressing like a bum, they not choosing you, and they not about to make you come, all right? That's just how it is down here. Um, besides that, y'all, I love Dallas. It's beautiful. It's hot as a bitch. I got to get the air in my car fixed because, <laughs> yo, it's hot. It's hot. But besides that, y'all, I love it. I don't. I can't ever see myself living back in Iowa around a bunch of white folks and females who are built like refrigerators. That do cocaine. I ain't going back. No. I'll catch y'all later, though. Peace.